everybody, this is Praxis, and it's been a little bit of a slow morning this morning, not because I'm not getting stuff done, but because it's been a lot of thinking and planning and designing kind of work. Uh, as you can see from yesterday, I was able to get that front wall. Uh, I think it's pretty much done. There's a couple little missing uh, pieces here and there, just over the two doors at the end. I'm kind of waiting to see what scrap manifests itself towards the end. Uh, I, I hate to cut down a full board for that if I'm going to like end up with a little scrap piece that'll fit in over there anyway. Um, so I've kind of left that. And now I'm starting to work on, on these sides. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the back wall last because if I end up kind of running low on boards, I don't mind if that back wall is like a different kind of board. I mean, not substantially different, but, uh, you know, I'd like it if I could kind of have the front and the two sides match. And that side over there, I mean, you really got to get around there to even see it. So, I mean, if it's a slightly different kind of board, I'm not going not gonna to worry too much about that. So doing these sides first. And what I've been doing a lot of the planning uh, about is is where to put these posts. Um, on these walls, I'm going to have these vertical posts. Uh, these serve a couple of purposes. Uh, one, uh, as I'm stacking lumber, uh, not lumber, uh, firewood on the inside, it's going to want to kind of like spread out and roll out. I mean, you can stack it so that it doesn't want to roll out, but it takes a little bit more effort to stack that way. And if you can just kind of stack things and have them lean up against the wall, it's just it's a little easier, a little faster. And um, I want to reinforce the wall so we can take that, you know, so I don't have, this is an eight foot wall here, or just about eight feet. I don't want it like bowing out here because like all the uh, the firewood wants to pour out through the wall and eventually you know it could it could uh, bust through so um, I'm doing these reinforcing posts here this is the first one uh, here and their uh, their locations um, they're not they're not super important exactly where they are I want a few of them to reinforce the wall but really what I'm trying to do uh, in terms of the placement is to make them so that I can use uh, my scrap boards that I've got left um, in a way where they're going to pretty efficiently fit. Uh, I get, uh, for every 16 foot long board that I, I hammer up on the back, um, which I may not even get to those anyway, but for, if I end up using 16 foot long boards on the back, I end up with a piece like this at the end. So this will be able to fit in right here, and I'll just cut it, I'll only lose a couple of inches and it can make it to here. If this was one over, you know, you wouldn't quite be able to make it. Uh, I also have another piece, uh, I, think it's, I think it's these right here. These are scraps that I pulled off of, and it doesn't much matter, they're, they're, they were a consistent scrap that I pulled off of something when I was putting it up on the front, and that will do the rest of the run over there. So I've got, uh, you know, these different pieces of scrap, and I want to make sure that I use them to their best, uh, you know, purpose so that I have the smallest amount of scrap possible and most of the wood actually is going up on the wall. So one of these posts is going to be here. Um, uh, I'm thinking about having another one right here or around here because of these pieces of scrap, although honestly I've only got two of these pieces of scraps. So I'm not that concerned about these guys. Uh, I think I want to do three verticals here. One here and then honestly maybe just a couple there. So I may even forego that and then just do a couple over here. So that would be three on either side. Um, so that's the plan anyway. Uh, I'm just about to get this one in. Uh, got the level here so I can check plumb. Yeah, it looked like it was bending that way and it definitely is. So I'm going to give it a tap. I think I got to go up top to do the tapping. It uh, just squeezed under here. Just going to keep checking it. Getting there a little more. just a touch. Okay, there we go. So that'll be the first one right in there. I barely even need to nail it. I'm definitely going to nail it in, but <laughs> it's so tight in there. I barely even need to nail the thing in. Um, so, so that's the plan. I'm going to get these. I'm doing them consistently on both sides. And uh, once I get these all in place, uh, I've got a lot of 16 foot long boards and those are going to be really efficient going in here because this is just a hair under eight feet is what I need for these boards. So I'm going to have like a half an inch scrap for each board. Um, and I don't know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go up all the way. I'm going to go up a fair bit and then the wall will stop and then it'll just be open air because that's the whole idea. This is a drying area. Hey, that's it. Thanks for watching.